Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 and XJ change of oil capacity specification in the model year 2000. This is episode 43 of my series of videos about Jaguar XK8s and this one I'm going to um, go through some technical service bulletins about dipsticks and how Jaguar changed them particularly uh, post uh, or pre post year, model year 2000. If you're an enthusiastic uh, driver and like corners, you need to watch this video, especially if you've got a pre-2000 car. So have you checked your dipstick first? If you have, you'll notice there's two uh, punched holes in the dipstick, one of which marks the maximum, one of which marks the minimum. And these are, between these dots, normally represents one liter of oil. Normally, that's what you're gonna expect. However, your dips, your car could actually have a maximum at least one liter above that. And after model year 2000, Jaguar actually increased it to that level, which is the most interesting bit. So they did that through some technical service bulletins, uh, two of them. I'll go through the first one now. So in November 1999, uh, technical service bulletin 100-17 came out and it talked about engine oil capacity, increased level and new dipstick. So what they advised is the engine oil fill has been increased by one litre. So basically you will need to put an extra litre in your cars. Uh, and they did that by installing a revised dipstick, basically made the, the maximum mark higher up. So you try to hit that level. There was no other modification to the car. It's purely a dipstick change. Very interesting. Um, they did this, uh, there was actually, well, I assume this would be different between XJ and XK cars. There were two dipstick part numbers, uh, MME, NME 1723NA and uh, XR8367552 AC. Now those are the old dipstick part numbers. I've checked my dipstick on my 996 car. It hasn't even got a part number. So goodness knows what dipstick that is, to be honest. Um, those part numbers need to be replaced by XR82806 and that will then give a, a revised level and uh, increased capacity. So in the earlier models, uh, in earlier models manuals, the dipstick instruction looks something like on the left here with the two dots. But the later manuals, they've got a bit more sophisticated, they get a hashed area, which assumed where the two dots actually they became bigger or they move them completely up the scale. Okay, a uh, bit of a note, when you're checking your oil, an interesting fact, you need to check it either when it's completely cold or it's or it's uh, it's been, been completely warmed up and you've waited for a minimum two minutes. So the interesting fact here is that, that obviously, if you check it immediately after the engine's warm, there's engines all around the cam covers and uh, all around the engine, and it hasn't had back time to drain back to the sump. Now the difference between checking directly, not waiting two minutes, and waiting the two minutes is approximately one liter. So whether that some some confusion within Jaguar or dips with the dipsticks and how they were checking them might explain this problem. However, here we'll go on to the the second technical service bulletin, which came out in November 2000, a year later. That was uh, technical service bulletin 204-13. And this basically details the R performance kits. Great, 20 inch alloys are on their way in an official capacity, Detroit style, Paris style, 20 inch alloys. But these are, I assume these are being retrofitted on XK8s. And again, it details oil dipstick and oil capacity, and it also goes into tire inflators, which are going to later. But again, what's interesting to see is if people who are buying these R performance kit were expected to be to drive their cars in a manner which may result in heavy cornering so you're going to give it the beans basically and they were pretty worried that uh, as the, the the centrifugal force of the car cornering would push all the oil oil all the oil to one side of the sump and uh, the pickup wouldn't be able to uh, pick every, all, all the oil it needed resulted in um, reduced lubrication you got to say there must have been some instances of this, otherwise they wouldn't have bothered doing it. So as a precaution measure, 
But again, they go on about the extra litre of oil. Now, this is not an extra litre on the extra litre, but this is the original extra litre from the original Turfus Bulletin. So the, the double checking that people taking the R performance kit have done the previous technical surface bulletin. Again, they re-emphasize this, this dipstick change and the oil fill level for exuberant driving is only after the introduction of 2000 model year. Bit of interest, so as part of that R performance kit, it goes on about the wheels and the valves, the inflation adapters, and uh, how to adapt it and check your tires because it's a bit tricky i'm going to do a video on that as well because i've got the uh, milan alloy wheels these are mine they're actually part of the r pack so they're definitely a plus they're definitely an add-on keep it oem and a bit special but they're not 20s unfortunately you know cry 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 okay but uh, also details the uh, r pack included detroit and paris alloy wheels as you can see there so that was the end of that technical service bulletin. So there you go. Have you got the extra litre or not in your car? And what dipstick of your car? I suggest you go out now and check, especially if you like driving around corners quick. OK, hope you enjoyed the video. I found it absolutely fascinating, that fact, a real strange one. When the guy told me originally, I couldn't believe it. I said it was unbelievable, unbelievable that Jaguar just decided to put an extra litre of oil just like that. Well, they did. Especially if you've got the R, so the R pack. Okay, hope you find that interesting. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.